Dr. Swarjla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. When undergoing IVF, a lot of patients have a fear of the risks associated with IVF. Let's try to address them as we are asked these questions very often. The uh, process of IVF involves medication to grow eggs inside the ovaries. Then these eggs are collected outside the body under anesthesia. These eggs are then mixed with the partner's or husband's sperms. Embryos are produced and then these embryos are put back into the uterus. Putting back the embryos into the uterus is called as embryo transfer and this is usually done without anesthesia. So you can understand that it's a fairly simple procedure. So let's try to break down the IVF procedure. What are the complications involved with IVF medication? These medications are trying to grow more than one follicle inside your ovaries. If you have a low MH then very few eggs are uh, you know made to grow. If the AMH is normal and the FSH is normal these are anti-mullerian hormones and follicle stimulating hormones circulating inside your body and these give us an indication how many eggs might be able to be retrieved. So what are the side effects, possible side effects of these injections? There could be mild bruising, soreness at the site of injection, there could be nausea, also sometimes vomiting, temporary allergic reactions to these injections, uh, especially progesterone, there could be breast tenderness and increased vaginal discharge. There could be mood swings and fatigue and ovarian hyperstimulation. Well, ovarian hyperstimulation is uh, something that is reported in only 1% of IVF patients because these are managed very well. Uh, the dosage in patients that are susceptible to ovarian hyperstimulation as in too many eggs grow inside the ovaries and they get into this uh, phenomenon called ovarian hyperstimulation is assessed before the injections are even begun. So the fertility specialist or your gynecologist will give you injectables in such a way that the dose is controlled and you do not get into ovarian hyperstimulation. However, the symptoms of ovarian hyperstimulation are swelling because there is a lot of fluid accumulation and there is abdominal pain, there is discomfort, there is distension because of that due to which there could be extreme discomfort. What are the risks of egg retrieval? Egg retrieval is usually done under anesthesia. In this procedure, a very thin long needle is passed through your vagina into the ovaries. All this is done under the guidance of ultrasonography because the fertility specialist wants to be very careful where the needle is going. So the needle is put directly into the follicle where the egg is collected and passed on into the laboratory. This procedure is fairly simple if uh, the fertility specialist is trained. So what could be the side effects or the risks of egg collection? There could be mild to moderate pelvic and abdominal pain, injury to the organs uh, near the ovaries, especially if there is a lot of uh, complications resulting from severe endometriosis or there are adhesions inside and the ovary is stuck to pelvic organs, there is a mild chance but if anatomically everything is okay then this chance is severely reduced. There could be pelvic infections, these are very uncommon now. Uh, because antibiotic medications are usually given at the time of egg retrieval but severe infection may require hospitalization and treatment with intravenous antibiotics. Another side effect and it's very rare is could be um, severe infection and um, this could lead to uh, removal of ovaries sometimes but this is extremely rare and unheard of in these times because the procedure has been extremely matured now and Fertility specialists are very well experienced to handle a small procedure like egg retrieval. What are the risks associated with embryo transfer? Well, as I said before, embryo transfer is performed in the operation theatre, yes, definitely, but without anesthesia. It's a fairly simple procedure which can be finished in 15 minutes. A very simple thin catheter uh, is loaded with your embryos and this catheter under ultrasonography is passed into your uterus and they are left inside. So it's a very simple procedure painless uh, almost all the times except for patients who have additions who have a small uterus who have a very small cervix under those conditions it is mildly uncomfortable what are the risks with the uh, ivf conceptions the biggest risk of ivf conception is a multiple pregnancy when uh, more than one embryo implants then carrying such a baby to term comes with its own preterm complications. Premature babies could be one of the complications. Then there could be maternal hemorrhage, delivery by caesarean section, pregnancy related high blood pressure or gestational diabetes. These are the complications which could be associated with multiple pregnancies and these are common as they are common in the natural population. Are miscarriages and ectopic pregnancies also common? Well, miscarriages are common in IVF 
because uh, there are uh, so many issues to deal with there could be infertility related issues there could be age related issues as age advances of the woman the chance of miscarriage increases in general population as well so chance of miscarriage in ivf population is also high ectopic pregnancies yes are common because when the embryos are placed there could be misplaced and they could uh, implant at other sites such as cervix or uh, in the fallopian tubes so these are complications associated with ivf definitely but under uh, experienced hands these complications are severely reduced if you want to understand more or are trying to uh, go through an ivf procedure but have uh, inhibitions and doubts please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you